all right what is going on you guys team budget here bringing you guys a new video and today we are going to be playing live testing sky strikers uh the new type of sky striker you know the one that rian you won with and uh, we're going to test this deck out practically and we're going to see how this man like managed to win the event i ended up seeing it live like on uh triff's live stream and i thought it was really cool that he brought back a deck that well i thought it was dead and he brought it back even though it was with hand traps and stuff but it's pretty cool like i was testing it out and I, I love it i love it i might even play sky striker again just because of it and i love the fact that sky strikers now have a chance to play maybe it could have been just luck but i don't know but i think it, it's cool like it's amazing like i love it and you guys are gonna see like why it's so cool and then plus the new link 4 that came out in eternity code and it's, it's effect is broken it's super broken yeah access code talker is super broken in, in the sky striker deck like you just keep banishing from grave to pop um cards on your opponent's side of the field and since you have different attributes of sky strikers um yeah that's that's multiple pop he also he also used the new uh hand trap ghost mourner and that card is pretty nice too you know it negates the special summon monsters effect you know your boy's been struggling to post because you know he's been trying to work and stuff and today i just worked like a 10 hour shift and i was in downtown los angeles so it was pretty hectic down there um but you're, i'm back you know i'm still alive i made it somehow i don't know how i made it man that that bus never came so i had to uber it you got all these like these cracked out people trying to talk to you it, it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy but um you know i'm still here still making videos for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this video i really do leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video that way i know you guys are liking these and if you're new subscribe to the channel just press subscribe it's, it doesn't bother you just subscribe to the channel i promise you you won't regret it um you're gonna love the content i put i put like different type of content but like you're gonna love the content and deck profiles live builds whatever i end up putting you're just, you're just gonna love it i know it you're just gonna love it it's like mcdonald's you just love it okay well without further ado without bugging you guys let's get straight into the video also if you guys hear like a lot of noises because it's really noisy right now i don't know why your boy can't even make a video in peace but it's really noisy right now um you're gonna hear my fire alarm beep all the time yes i know i've gotten comments like that it just keeps beeping i, I tried man I i'm just probably gonna break it you're gonna hear little kids screaming probably i don't know you're gonna hear some shit so just ignore it try to listen to my soothing voice and we're gonna begin this video so so first deck i go up against is madoche and madoche it's a pretty weird deck um, I don't know where it has its place in the meta, but I end up impermanenting, impermanencing, is that a word? Uh, who cakes? And pretty much that just makes him set three and he ends up passing his turn to me, your boy. So this was a weird hand. Like I haven't played Sky Striker since Engage got banned. So yeah, uh, you're going to see some stupid misplays. I might point them out myself if I remember correctly, but um, yeah, I misplay a few times. It's kind of dumb, but i haven't played the deck in forever and you know obviously i'm not reading you so i'm not playing the deck optimally as he would so yeah but um i ended up just activating shark cannon and cosmic um hit the cosmic in the back and then hit the monster that was in the grave that way he doesn't activate who kicks effect next turn and i set widow anchor and i pass and during the end phase he cosmic cyclones my widow anchor so i'm like damn you know if he's gonna do damage is this turn but I do have a primal being in hand, so like if he ends up summoning too much, I could just nuke the field with uh, the good old primal being. But he just ends up normal summoning uh, Madoche, Messenger or something like that, and uh, he attacks me directly. Um, yeah, so this, this game went pretty slow, like, and I end up Ash Blossoming, Ash Blossoming the Search. So, oh, when this was happening, I was hoping for a ray. I was like, please give me a ray. I need it. I need it. I can't get attacked that much. And I end up uh, getting the ray. I draw hard draw the ray, and I normal her. I go into, um, I go into Kagari. And, um, yeah, so, like, but it, it, I, I want to say it was a good call because that trap card, like, I, I just feel like he was in a negate. Like, I, I was scared he was in a negate. My Hayate attack to dump. So, um, yeah, I end up attacking directly. I dump. What the hell did I dump? Oh, I dump afterburner so I could recuperate the next turn because he's monster based. So I could just pop it, and if I have three, I'll just pop his, one of his back row. So I end up going Shizuku, and then I plus with his with her effect to add, and I end up adding another Widow Anchors again since it's monster based. So he special summons from hand, pudding says or pudding whatever, and yeah, you're gonna hear random shit like that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you right now, LA is kind of hectic. So um, he goes into the XYZ. 
and he pops my Shizuku, but lucky, you know, Ray comes back from grave. Good, you know, good for me. Good, good for Sky Striker players. Um, yeah, I get Ray back. So right here, I could end up like activate it to quick effect to special summon another Sky Striker monster. But I do, but I do something crazy. Okay, I do something crazy. So first, you activate Ray's effect, and then you chain Primal Being. So since she tributes for cost. Primal Being hits the field first, he nukes the field, and he special summons, and then I get a special summon the, the Link monster that I desired at that time, and I chose Kagari, and I recycled Afterburner. So uh, yeah, I got Afterburner in his turn, and then I Heart Drew, Area Zero, and I'm trying to get rid of the Primal Being because I want to be, be able I want to be able to activate my spell, so um, yeah, I end up throwing him away with Area Zero, and then I, I do get Shark Cannon off the thing. So I afterburner the primal being token. Um, I thought that was just like the right thing to do. I'm, I mean, it was it was right, you know. Uh, I attack directly, and then I dump. What did I dump? Oh, I I dumped the rose, right? Do I? Yeah, I dumped rose. I don't know. I just wanted to test it out, like if her, if her effect comes up because he summons X Y Z and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, maybe it happens. I don't know. And right now, like I, I kind of had control of board, so I was like, I'm not tripping. Uh, I wanted I want her effect to activate like her second effect because I've I don't think I've I don't think I've ever done it so yeah I wanted that to happen but he ends up doing the same thing he did in the beginning and, and I end up widow anchoring the, the hoot cakes and I end up stealing it with uh, yeah widow anchor and um, yeah I thought it was pretty funny and he ends up surrendering and th sometimes that's the problem with Nexus like people don't let you play the game fully and that's what I hate like even if you hop on rank. Like people just scoop it up and I'm just like, please, please let me play. Like, and I would do dueling book, but I, 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 I hate dueling book. I don't know why. I kind of hate it. It's not the, it's not because it doesn't play for me. It's just like, it takes forever. Like games take like an hour long. And right here, like this one, this is pretty quick. Like most of these games are quick. Um, even if I don't edit them sometimes. So um, I'm playing against Grand Maju this time. And off the bat, he desires and he ends up summoning the, the Grand Maju monster. Which I thought was pretty crazy. I area zero. I do cosmic cyclone. I pot of desires, and um, I draw the two. I end up drawing effect. Va effect Vader is so good against Grim Maju. Like I remember when I played Grim Maju and people would effect Vader me. I hated that shit. I hated it. I hated it so much. But um, yeah, I got Ray off off two. But there's there's a cool combo. You know, Rose gets a special summon when you special summon an Ace monster or Sky Striker Ace monster. Yeah. So so she special summons herself. And then since I have in special uh, normal, I normal ray. So I end up linking them both away for uh, the dark sky striker, the Zeke or whatever it's called. And I end up banishing the Grimaji, which is pretty ironic. <laughs> but um, yeah, I end up ban banishing it. And then I, I was trying to do as much damage as possible, so I pop. I end up popping my area zero to get to give Zeke twenty five thousand, and I. I well, a thousand, sorry, and it's so, so like I attack directly, and um, I go into the Kagari. I end up adding Hornet drones back to my hand just in case he, for some reason, cleared my monsters. But I was trying to get rid of my monsters anyways because I want my spells to activate. And um, oh, I don't get, I don't get rid of them. What the hell? I don't remember this. But okay, I didn't get rid of them. Sure, um, maybe I couldn't find a way. I don't know. But I add Widow Anchor with Shizuku. And again, he ends up normal summoning a Grim Maju. I'm just like, bruh, but I affect Vader that shit. Let's go, baby. And then I Cosmic Cyclone in the back row, just in case. And it was a different dimension ground. Um, that would have probably hurt. But he does get his Grim Maju back because of Zeke effect. It comes back in your opponent's end phase. So I end up doing a, a you know a good play that I wanted to do, but I didn't get to use it, um, use the effect. So I end, end up going into Crystal Needle Fiber, but I have to summon the normal. I have to normal the tuner to link into him. So I special summon Effect Vader with uh, Crystal Needle Fiber. And then I go for Axis Code Talker. And um, I wanted to do the thing where you keep popping, but I was like, I already have game. So I was like, I, I, I just won't do it. But um, he does gain Crystal Needle Fiber's like damage, attack, sorry. So, I, oh, but I do end up popping one, but like I could do it multiple times if you guys did not see my grave right now. And I end up Widow Anchoring the Grand Maju. And then I attacked the Grand Maju for game. The um, Our opponent only had 25 and I had 43, so you know make them zero attack you know mm -mm. but uh yeah so next game is herald of perfection deck um this game was pretty long and it was it was ridiculous but 
I just wanted to show it because it was it was just funny and um, it, I still showed the deck a little bit so thought that was pretty cool too so yeah he does the Benton Dawn com uh, combo link one link two and um, I tried like activating a new hand trap on on him but he negates it sadly obviously I already knew that but I'm trying to make him waste all his fairies that way he doesn't normal summon anymore he just has Herald on the field I uh, activate area zero and I do the little sky striker combo with uh, Ray and area zero but if I remember correctly he does negate my Ray so I don't get to special summon but I do get area zero and I end up getting nothing sadly that's just that's just my luck but I activate pot of desires and strangely enough he let me go with it. I'm pretty sure I have one more negate but he just let me do it I don't know but yeah so I set the imperm and that's all I could do so I pass my turn which is pretty pitiful this is a uh, I don't know this was bad uh, he had the perfect amount of fairies I don't know I don't know what to tell you he just, it was just good okay so I already zero whatever the hell I set right now I forgot what the hell it was but I I get nothing again so I end up uh, setting the <laughs> the effect veiler just so he won't attack me directly again and for sure he has like one more fairy in there but like I don't know why he didn't summon it or maybe he didn't I, I forgot but I get the sister again and I area zero one more time and I end up finally getting a monster but I end up choosing Motiro because I wanted to see like if he would negate it because obviously if you activate Motiro well if I activate Motiro to pop area zero he can't respond to any more, any more of my spells either way so but he ends up negating it and I try like I try making him waste all his fairy monsters in his hand so I imperm I imperm that herald you know I I widow anchor that that herald and um he still has fairies he still ends up negating most of my negates which is hilarious so I lose three he lose he loses uh three two so I set the moon girl we're both at 18 so it was good it was good uh, but that the hard draw was kind of scary for me. I was like, man, maybe he draws something good. I'm gonna be disappointed, but he didn't. Um, so we're stuck at 18 right here, 18, 18. And I end up drawing another imperm, and I was like, uh, at least I have one more negate, right? So I already zero the imperm, and I end up getting a sky striker card, which is good, which is good. Okay, so I throw the imperm, I I set the sky striker card, and I end phase. You're probably like, why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Uh, I'm, if I remember correctly, I think you still send either way, but like I just I just got it just in case I didn't want to fuck up and not have anything in the back. So um, yeah, I hard drew a widow anchor and I was like, this is good, this is good. So I areas I activate area zero to I target the moon girl, and I end up getting a monster again. So that's good, and it's rose. So you know what I do? I do full combo school, full sky striker combo. I go into Kagari, and I recuperate the widow anchor yeah yeah i already know i already know and he tries negating but i widow anchor from my hand and i end up taking control of his herald finally finally after so long he didn't have a fairy in hand and i was like let's go like this this is obviously my game now i'm gonna have control of it right now and this little eerie dude he ends up adding like two fairies to the hand one is green green light herald or something like that herald of green light and then tricks a trickstar monster. He ends up summoning a trickstar monster. Um, I switch into a Hayate, and then um, I attack directly with Hayate, and I end up dumping, which is obvious. I dump afterburner, which makes sense and pop all his monsters because he had way more monsters than me right now. So I attack with Herald. So now we're even two two. Um, I go into the dark one, Sieg. I was calling it Zeke. It's Sieg. It's Sieg. Okay, so I go into Sieg and then I, I love the banish effect. You just banish and they don't get into the end phase of their turn. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I go into a Shizuku just to plus off the end phase. But I don't think there was really much I could plus off anyways. But I set Widow Anchor because I have no main monsters. And activate Shizuku's effect. I think I get a Shark, yeah, shark Cannon. I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, I don't know, maybe he has a Monster Reborn or something. So I can still Shark Cannon. Um, he activates the incantation reveals and he specials two I think one from the deck and one from his hand if I remember correctly um, so end phase I have to return one of his monsters back sadly and he ends up scooping when usually when it says lost connection they scoop which I find super super annoying when they put lost like they they just click out the 
the tab most of the time and it's so annoying because like you're trying to finish the game and these guys are clicking up but yeah that's all i have for you guys today i wanted to do more but this video was already getting long so i was like i uh, might as well just stop it so like i'm, I'm trying to speed this up that way you're not here as, mo here as much so um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to the channel comment down below what you guys think um congratulations to rian you i kind of made this video late like i said i've been super busy but now that i got to it congratulations uh i love that sky strikers are kind of doing a comeback and he kind of he, he made that possible by winning we'll see what's in store for sky strikers and with that being said guys keep it budget and i'll see you guys next time ding, ding, ding.